What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Metro Drive. And today we're going to talk about, you know, I don't, sometimes these are about jujitsu, sometimes they're not. Today, it's about jujitsu. And specifically, I've been thinking a lot about kids. Uh, you know, my son, my son, my first son is due in July. And uh, so it's coming up here. And so I'm just thinking more and more about kids. Uh, it's my second child, by the way, first son. And why jujitsu is helps them prepare for life. And so, because we've been getting lots of calls in from parents, and they all pretty much ask the same thing. You know, I want, I want discipline, I want confidence. He's a good kid, I don't want him to be bullied, but I also don't want him to be a floor mat. And obviously, jujitsu helps with all of that. Um, but there's, you know, I when I was thinking about this topic, I was like, why is jujitsu different? Like, you can say, you can say, uh, I want my kid to be fit, I want him off video games. You know, it's, um, it, there's a lot of activities you could do to keep your kid fit. Your kid could do parkour and, like, get them away from video games. Your kid could ride a bike and get off video games. So, the, just the answer of the fact that it's extreme cardiovascular workout and your kid is going to have, you know, the, be like running like a well-oiled machine and burning great energy, that, that's a given. All right, that should be, you, that should be understood. But... How it prepares you for life because that's the end goal and I got a list here just a few light it's so if, it, if it's gonna prepare you for life we have to talk about things that life offers one thing life offers is ups and downs like guaranteed absolutely guaranteed just as sparks fly upward uh, man, man's born for trouble so it's it's going to offer ups and downs and that's what happens in jiu-jitsu. We do matches. Our kids do adult length matches. We do three six-minute matches every day. And those matches are, I call it the golden hour. Like, that's where character is built. That's where, uh, the quote, the quote, Chris Blanke, he put it really well when I was a white belt. Sometimes, sometimes you're the filet mignon. Sometimes you're the filet of fish Like, some days you do really well. Other days, you wonder why you came in. And that's just how... That's how life works. No one has great days every day. And contrary to popular belief, guys, no one has really, really terrible days every day. It's not that bad, okay? I promise. If it is, we, we can help. Um, so that that's manifested. And all of these guys, I just want to point out, all of these go into play... Like, these matches are kind of a stress test, if you will, to sort of gauge where the child's at because children are very emotional and they respond like they they'll tell you pretty much how they're feeling like they'll t I had a kid just you know, they'll be very 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 honest with you why they're you know why they're upset why they're not working on and then we capitalize on those moments and have what's called we teachable moments uh, we also call them mat talks we talk about them so when they lose a match and they get angry and they, they just want to throw a temper tantrum, we say, hey, come here. No, that's not acceptable. Why are you mad? And then they tell us why I'm mad. Because I'm lost. Because he choked me. Because he this. Because he that. And it's like, All right, let's talk about that anger. Because that's, that's not acceptable social behavior. We're going to talk about that. We want to talk about respect. We talk about, what else have I talked about? Lying. Kids lie. I get lied to on a daily at class. Like, about the stupidest stuff, always. And... Uh, we talk about lying. So things that like, you know, they, they, their importance might be going down in the rest of the world. They still matter to us at Jiu uh, Metro Jiu Jitsu. So core values, we reinforce those. You know what else life has to offer? And this one may sting a little bit, guys. There are winners and there are losers. Period, point blank. In my day job, we're in commercial construction. You either win the bid or you lose the bid, there is no here's a consolation prize, thanks for bidding award. It's you either won it or you didn't. Either you were the top bidder and you get the job or you get nothing. That's how, that's how life works. Either you get the job in the interview or you don't. Either you close the sale or you don't. There is no, there is no in between. So either you win the match or you lose the match. Now, yet, yes, we're looking for overall improvement. Yes, we're looking for, but it prepares them that there's that distinction. Because so long as there is a buffer 
So long as there's a buffer, something to cushion that, oh, you know what, you really, you're a winner in my book. I'm sorry, Carol. Your book isn't the one that's gonna get her the job, you know? Your book isn't the one, your book isn't the one that's gonna, you know, get her that graduation certificate. Um, that's just it. So life offers winners and losers. And so your kid needs to realize that if you want to win, if you want to be successful, you, you're gonna have to put in the work. Leads me to my next point. If your kid, uh, jujitsu, in case you don't know, I thought, you know, it's commonplace, we see it every day. Jujitsu's belts are probably the most uh, appropriately valued belts in all of martial arts. What do I mean by that? I mean, you're not gonna see a 14 year old black belt anywhere in Brazilian jujitsu. It's not. Like, in fact, I think I think the IBJJF standard is you have to be 18 years old to even obtain a purple belt. So if that's, uh, so, I mean, a kid, and we have kids, like, they've been training for a decade since they were six or whatever, six, seven, eight, and then they, you know, they turn 18, they've been training effectively for 10 years, and they just get a purple belt, which is the middle belt. And so if you're not, if you're not getting better, and I actually had this, I felt bad doing it. We had two brothers start at the exact same time, exact same day. They come every day together. I gave one a stripe on his belt and the other I did not. And the, the brother was heartbroken. He started crying. He like grabbed kids. He grabbed his belt once he saw me getting it, getting his brother one. I was like, all right guys, that's it. And he, man, he was, he was tore up, but he didn't earn the stripe yet. And I told him that, I was like, look, we don't give these out to, look, I don't care if you come to 1,000 classes, if you're not getting better, you're not getting promoted, period. Like, and that's just it, because what does that teach you? That teaches you if you just show up, you'll get the grades. My brother-in-law, I believe, and his wife as well, they, uh, they went to, they got like associates, maybe even a bachelor's. They went to college for a while, they went to a while, and they both admitted, Admitted to me, I was like, you know, I didn't go to college. Apparently, I wasn't smart enough. But they admitted to me, I did not learn one thing in college. Like, in the entire their entire program, they paid, I don't know how many thousands of dollars. I have not learned one thing in college. They still got the degree. They're in the job force now. So take that for what it's worth. They, my wife, kind of not all college is bad. Hear me out, my wife, I, you know, I paid for her nursing school. She's way smarter than I'll ever be. But... If you're not obtaining the results, if you're not getting better, if you're not growing, you don't get promoted. Your kids need to learn that. Your kids need to, your kids need to understand that if you don't put in this work, I can't get out there and do it for you. If, if I, I promise you if a parent came to me and offered me a fat stack of $10,000 to promote his child to the next, to the next belt, we would have a heart to heart and I would let him know how disgraceful that is and I would not take the money and that, you know, maybe go somewhere else where they would because that's not what we do here. I'm not here to take your cash and give your child a false sense of security. You're paying me to teach your child how to defend them because that 10, that 10 sec is not going to help them when some bully tries to lay them out on the playground. So they need to understand that. Um, obviously, guys, this topic's it's passionate to me because it it's like I feel bad for you know I feel bad for kids who think that like they legitimately think with with some of the things that they do they could actually take on a grown adult and it's just like having take on grown adults of all different shapes and sizes I know how violent and aggressive that can get so it's a, it's a false sense of security and it's just not realistic we try to simulate the real world in every way I mean Every way, every way we can. The environment's still fun. Your kid's still gonna get in shape. The confidence is gonna go through the roof. Uh, they're gonna learn respect. They're gonna be make eye contact. I'm huge on eye contact when you talk to me. You will, you are not allowed to look at your shoes when you when you talk to me. I will repeat myself 18 times until you look me in the eyes. Um, but that's that's just one of many things, and you can. You know, so if you're considering soccer, if you're considering hockey, if you're considering, you know, whatever you're considering, just come check us out and see how it's different. I think you'll be impressed.
So that is my father, soon to have second child kind of uh, motivation for you guys, parents. And, and, well, and this, I'll just add this one at the very end. We still believe it takes a village to, you know, a, a old phrase, it takes a village to raise the child. You've got tons and tons of coaches and other parents there looking out for your child uh, when you can or can't be. So that's just added community that you become a part of when you start jujitsu. That's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, Metro Jiu Jitsu is located in Southgate next to Planet Fitness on Eureka. Come check us out. Classes, doors open tonight at 4.30. Kids classes start at 5. And you can check out our website, metrojj.com, for more information. As always, I will see you guys on the mats.